Good morning everyone. In the last class we understood the characteristics of the five kingdoms that is Monera, Protesta, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia in detail as proposed by Robert Whittaker. Now let us understand how the living organisms were categorized into five different kingdoms based on their common characteristics. So first we start with the type of cell. Organisms are divided based on the cell type that is are they prokaryotes or eukaryotes. Prokaryote means the cell the nucleus is not well defined and the cell organelles are not membrane bound whereas eukaryote means in the cell the nucleus is well defined and the cell organelles are membrane bound next based on the number of cells whether the organism is unicellular or multicellular so unicellular prokaryotes belong to kingdom monera and unicellular eukaryotes belong to kingdom protista next coming to multicellular organisms the cell structure was taken into consideration whether cells have a cell wall or not so multicellular organisms with no cell wall belong to the kingdom animalia now the organisms with cell walls were divided based on the nutrition type whether autotrophic or heterotrophic so multicellular organisms having cell walls and that can perform photosynthesis belong to the kingdom plantae whereas multicellular organisms having cell walls but unable to perform photosynthesis belong to kingdom fungi thus this way we arrived at the five kingdoms as proposed by robert whittaker but if you see that it is very very basic level that is at the cellular level such broad categorization cannot do justice to the huge diversity in the nature so further divisions were made based on upper level characteristics and this we will continue in the next session till then bye bye